Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and thank you for watching In The Chair. I work backstage as a wig and makeup artist, so I'm not very used to being on camera. And action. <laughs> However, last fall, I did make it out on the Windsphere stage as a supernumerary lion in the magic flute while also working on the wig and makeup crew. And what that means is in between makeup calls, I was putting my tail on and running across the stage. I am so happy to have had that experience. And I realized then that opera brings together some of the most unexpected people in the best ways. And so to show you what I mean, I now introduce to you some of our very own Dallas Opera supernumeraries with drawings by me. Hi everybody, my name is Doug Brunker. I am a super with Dallas Opera. I'm Sarah Newman and I'm a supernumerary with the Dallas Opera. My name is David Hiss and I'm a super with the Dallas Opera. I'm Tiffany Brooks. This is Grayson and Taylor and this is Lincoln. My name is Carol Walker. I've been associated with the Dallas Opera off and on for the last 15 years. I'm David Tenney and I've been a super with the Dallas Opera for 20 years. When you're singing, the main thing that you're worried about is the music. You've got to maintain that connection with the maestro or maestra in the pit, and you've also got to consider or think about maintaining your column of sound. That's kind of where supers come in. There's a lot of action that happens in opera that would get in the way of a singer. And here's a secret I'm gonna let you in on. What supers know is that being a super is often the best seat in the house. So during that production, um, Sarah Gartland, who was singing our Musetta, came and sat on my knee and sang parts of Quando Man Vo. It was glorious. Can you imagine a world-class soprano sitting on your knee singing Puccini? It was phenomenal. Mwah. I'm also a patron. I, I see the operas from out in the house as well. I started out at the, at the urging of a friend doing light walking, which in and of itself is not all that exciting except for the fact that you get to be behind the scenes, you get to see the props and the sets up close and kind of see how the magic is done. And uh, after that, boy, I was just, I was just hooked. I was a cigarette girl in Carmen. I got to puff powder out the ends of big cigarettes and listen to opera stars sing. And then last season, I was in La Boheme as the juggler. And I was, uh, I was asked to juggle on an elevated platform. And that was very exciting. Beautiful costume, big feathered hat and whatnot. But then they asked me to do it without my glasses on. So that was, it was nerve wracking. <laughs> but it all worked out well in the end. Grayson and I did fall staff together last year, had an amazing time, and then the kids did the magic flute as well. I set that one out because this guy was on his way. In fall staff, I was the artist apprentice, and in the magic flute, I was the crop of wind. In the magic flute, I played the pelican, and um, one of my favorite memories was um, meeting my friend Tula. And another one of my favorite memories was just whenever the animals went out on stage for the first time and I just heard the audience go, oh, that was amazing. I'm a retired attorney. Uh, I'd never been in theater before and thought I'd give this a try at the suggestion of a friend. Uh, been everything from a soldier to a priest, uh, servant, uh, serf, uh, and a dead person at one point. It is one of the best things I've ever done for myself. Uh, I have so much fun. Uh, we're the supers and the chorus are, are like one big family. Uh, we have some of the most amazing principals to work with that we make friends with. Uh, the backstage crew really is just one big, big family. I've been in 43 productions and have played all kinds of parts, including feature character roles 
my all-time favorite being the eunuch in The Italian Girl in Algiers, which was the final opera we did at the Music Hall, and the major domo in Don Pasquale, which was the first season of The Windsphere. But the greatest experience I've ever had was the world premiere of Great Scott. Working with that cast and those creators is something I will never forget. Thank you. By day, I'm a speech-language pathologist at a local hospital where I help patients communicate and swallow. And by night, or again, by matinee, maybe you've seen me in a bald cap as a prisoner in a pirate ship for the Flying Dutchman, as a townsperson in Falstaff, or as a giant red zebra in Magic Flute. I think my favorite part about being a super is that I'm performance trained, but I'm not musically trained. And so our stage managers have had to get really inventive with helping us know maybe when we're supposed to do something or come off stage, especially if we can't see them because we're wearing a giant red zebra costume. Wouldn't trade it for anything. I miss you all so much and I cannot wait to return to the stage at the Windsphere Opera House. I hope to see you soon. We love being a part of the Dallas Opera together. It's multiple generations. Everyone can enjoy it. And there really is nothing like looking out from the stage of the Windsphere to a full house and being part of something as spectacular as, as that is. Um, we will sing for you again.